Hey there, welcome to our Elevation Summer Camp Cabin Leader training video. We are so excited about this year's summer camp. We're excited about the students and what God is going to do in their lives. And we're excited about you. Seriously, on behalf of the summer camp staff, I can't tell you how thankful I am for you that you would choose to give up a week of your life to invest in the lives of students. My name is Mike Boswell, and I have the privilege of directing Elevation Summer Camp this year. And if I don't know you yet, I look forward to meeting you and getting to serve you and serve alongside you this July. The first thing I want to mention about your role as a cabin leader is how critically important you are to this camp and to the students who will be there. In fact, yours is probably the most important role at camp, and let me explain why. First of all, you get to be a part of the life change and transformation that students experience at summer camp. You get to be part of what God's Spirit will do in their hearts and in their minds. Along with that, you get to be an instrumental part of helping teens make potentially life-impacting decisions that are so radical that they'll literally direct or redirect the course of their lives. You not only get to be part of that, but you're needed to be part of that as well. Next, and this is such a powerful point, you get to build authentic relationships with students that will last way beyond our summer camp. You uh, are the one who goes home with them. You're the one who, because you experience camp with them, gets to help and, them and encourage them as they continue to learn to walk with Jesus. You help solidify their faith and they will need you to walk with them. You get to be a much needed cheerleader for them, an example, a mentor, a friend. When the camp high wears off, you get to help them in the valleys of life. And one more reason why you are so vital to this camp, you may not, uh, or you may even be the one that, that God uses to talk a student away from a ledge. And in doing so, you will have saved someone from potential disaster or worse. I love how Jude writes in his letter in verse 22. He says, be merciful to those who doubt, snatch others from the fire and save them. And I can't think of a, a better way to put it than snatching, being able to snatch people from the fire. And, and that's what we get to be part of. Now, as we go on in our limited time together, I can't encourage you enough to carefully read through and discuss the group leader handbook, the ideas for cabin times page, and your job description, all of which were sent to your church, along with promotional posters, registration forms, and flyers. The more prepared you are, the better experience Elevation Summer Camp will be for you and for all the students, plus yeah, it's kind of required that all leaders carefully review the training material as well. Uh, by the way, when the handbook uh, that you read says group leader, it's referring to you, the cabin leader. So let's look at a few things that I, I want to highlight as a cabin leader. Uh, first of all is relationships. Ministry is all about relationships. And at summer camp, there are three key relationships that you are responsible for. Uh, the first relationship is uh, that you're responsible for is your relationship with God. And this probably goes without saying, but I want to encourage you to make sure that you're in re right relationship with God. Spend some time in prayer. Connect with Him. Ask Him to help you hear His voice, especially as you prepare to serve the students that He loves just as much as He loves you. Next is your relationship with the camp staff and other leaders. Get to know other leaders, pray for each other, care for each other, and let's do our very best to communicate with each other. And let's walk in unity together. Students need to see that we are united and not divided. If you have an issue or a complaint, feel free to talk with me or with a camp pastor or bring it up in a meeting. But let's be in unity. God promises blessing when we do that. And finally, it's your relationship with the students. That's what I want to spend a little more time on in this uh, short video. Uh, a lot of this is covered in your handbook and materials, but I want to highlight a few important things for you to consider and prepare for. Uh, there are five things. They all start with L, and uh, they're not presented this way in your handbook, but I just kind of organize them in this way. So uh, the five L's. First of all, love. And this is a no-brainer, but it takes being intentional and thoughtful. Do your best to create an atmosphere of love for the students. 
a healthy and positive atmosphere in your cabin and away from it. We want every student to walk away from camp without a shred of doubt that they are loved, that they are valued and important both to you and to, uh, and to God and to us. So cultivate a healthy atmosphere. Even though you'll get tired, stay positive and ask God to help you have a positive attitude when you are tired. So many students have so much negative that they're facing in life. Don't be that one more adult who's mad at them or doesn't seem to care about them. Instead, let God's Spirit refresh them through you. Give them hope and a reason to hope. Along with a loving atmosphere, never shame a student for anything. And if other students are picking on someone, come to that student's defense. Don't even think about joining in on that. Help students connect positively with each other. Create an inclusive atmosphere. And, and don't talk negatively about anyone behind their backs, their backs because that's not love. That's at all. And one more thing about this love part. Don't get weird. Don't be inappropriate or weird with your physical interaction with students, okay? Uh, we want students to feel loved and safe and not grossed out or unsafe. And so please be sure to, to read that uh, physical guidelines section in your handbook. And uh, one more thing, uh, with discipline, be sure to follow those guidelines as well. Gone are the days when I was a youth pastor and it was kosher to give a junior high boy an atomic wedgie for acting up. Uh, society has changed and thankfully so have I. Uh, the next L is learn. Don't come to camp with a know-it-all attitude. Come willing to learn. Especially learn about the students that you lead. Learn their names, what they like to do, and what's important to them. What are they facing? What are their concerns and their cares? They, they want to know that you're interested in them. And the more you learn about them, the better you can serve them, and the more they will be convinced that you actually do love them. The third L is listen. You will have the responsibility to lead cabin discussions uh, and to work with your assistant cabin leaders to lead those discussions as well. But make listening your number one priority. Yes, ask questions, draw them out, but let them do the talking and, 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 asking, and asking and answering before you give the answers. Uh, don't be the, the, uh, the Bible answer man. Uh, let them do that because listening communicates value and, and it helps students process what they hear and see and experience in a more personal way. Now the fourth L is lead. Be that role model that students want in their life. Lead by example with your attitude, with your words, with your actions. Make sure they're following camp rules and schedule. That, that's important. That's a huge part of camp and, and making it run well. Uh, lead your cabin times with grace and focus. We're going to try to make it easy for you uh, with your t cabin times and discussions by having discussion questions printed out for you, uh, questions and talking points that uh, directly tie in to each message and each chapel time. Uh, so we're going to try to make that easy for you. Uh, something else that you should be aware of. There may be a student who will disclose sensitive and private information about their past. What a privilege and honor that they'd trust you that much. Now, first of all, keep in mind that unless you're a licensed pastor, confidentiality is not required of you. You need to keep it confident and confidential. Don't share with other students. But if there's something pressing that you feel like you need to talk to another leader about or, or myself or camp staff about, um, you are allowed to do that and, and, and to gain some wisdom with that. Uh, depending on the circumstance, the student who shares with you may need to know that you need to share it with another leader as well. Uh, second, if you are a pastor or teacher or counselor and any kind of abuse is disclosed, whether it's sexual or physical or pornographic, you are required by law to report it. You don't have to call the authorities personally, but you are required to report it up the chain of command in, at camp. And so if something is reported to me, we will talk about it and I will take it from there. And we want the best for our students and for their lives when they go home as well. So, uh, so think about these things and we'll talk more about them when we uh, get together at camp this July during our, our leaders meetings. And one more thing about leading, lead your group to pray for each other. Oh my goodness, prayer is powerful, especially when it's sincere and when students are praying for each other. Faith can grow leaps and bounds simply by having students pray out loud 
for their friends. And finally, the last L is laugh. Have fun with the students in your groups. Laugh with them, not at them. If you're going to make fun of anyone, make fun of yourself or find, make fun of me. I'm okay with that. But laughter is medicine for the heart. Laugh and laugh a lot. These students want to know that life can be fun and should be fun. That God is a God of joy and that he created fun and joy and laughter. Laughter can actually create bridges and build trust as well. And so I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I want to thank you again for choosing to be a cabin leader this year. Every year I get to hear stories from cabin leaders about how much fun they had and how they grew spiritually and how they were touched powerfully by God as well. And I'm confident that this will happen with you too. I'm excited and I look forward to spending a week with you serving the campers at Elevation Foursquare Summer Camp. Thank you so much. See you in July.